The monsoon has brought swarms of insects to parts of northwestern Seoul. While they are called love bugs as they fly around in pairs, there's nothing lovely about them. People are finding them a nuisance. Thankfully, a change in the weather could mean we won't have to see them anymore. Kim Jong-sil explains further. Swarms of bugs are causing concern in the northern parts of South Korea's capital, Seoul. These are called love bugs because they stick to each other for several days even after mating. It's not the first time they've appeared like this, but now they're a headache. Their carcasses end up like this all over the floor. People are complaining about them, especially in Seoul's northwestern district of Eunpyeonggu and the city of Koyang, Gyeonggi-do province. They get stuck all over my windshield. I use the wipers to try and get them off, but then they die there. That makes it even harder to clean. They get all bunched up together, so they're gross to look at. Officials in Eunpyeonggu district trying to stop the nuisance have declared a war on lovebugs. We have two quarantine squads. Each ward has a quarantine team, so we provide the residents with machines and insecticides, and they do this as volunteers. So why the swarms of lovebugs? We don't know exactly why there are so many all of a sudden, but many experts think the hot and humid weather let them multiply faster. The authorities have also not been able to spray insecticide because of the monsoon. But despite their rather unattractive appearance, experts say they can actually be good for the environment. Pyeon Heu, a researcher at the National Institute of Biological Resources, told Arirang News that lovebug larvae help break down dead plant material, while adult lovebugs help pollinize plants by feeding on the nectar of flowers. But unlike what some have been saying, lovebugs do not feed on mosquitoes or mites. It's been uncomfortable for people who are afraid of bugs, and it's been a problem for people with cars. Restaurants are having trouble too because the bugs can end up in food just like flies. Experts say the swarms could be mostly gone after the monsoon though because they only live for 10 days and don't like dry weather. Kim Jong-sil, Arirang News.